Hello, this is Vito Jameson here, and I want to tell you a bit about how I became a top seller on Fiverr, uh, and how I stay on top as a Fiverr. Uh, as I talk, I'll be going through my uh, back office here, and showing you some things and making some comments. So, getting started, what I did at first, I looked at what I'm good at, and what do people have an interest in. So, let's say you are good at writing you could put yourself on Fiverr as a comic writer if you're funny um, and write jokes for blogs or podcasts uh, or you could write a uh, personal um, you could write a personalized children's story you don't have to be the best you just have to offer something people would be interested in now I've been doing uh, voice work on and off for a lot of years so I decided to do uh, a voice gig now I wouldn't recommend it to someone who's just starting out. Um, it, it, there's a lot of people here on Fiverr who do voice. So even though I'm a top seller, I know there are others who are selling more voice gigs than me because they do things like offer to do a voice in 24 hours. Uh, and that, even though I can do that sometimes, it's not always going to work. So that dovetails into the next thing. I decide how long it will take me to do something and give myself enough room so that I am uh, not going to deliver late. Now depending on the project I can turn around in minutes but I, it could take days if I'm busy or with my kids or I'm at school working or on a trip overnight. So I have a high ratings because I deliver on time. So I look at my order board frequently and I use the Fiverr app as well to give me alerts as to when there's someone who's talking to me or has placed an order. So um, today's the uh, uh, third day of the month and um, this just lets me know a, a bird's eye view. So I've cleared out my account so you don't see what um, was in there before but it does show that I made um, 100 bucks in the, over the last couple days. I have 23 uh, sales in my queue so I know that I have work to do. This is telling me I have to do something in an hour. This tells me something I have to do within um, later on today and something due tomorrow. So I have some priorities to do. Um, over here, I have it shows I have a 90% response rate. Um, Fiverr's way of doing this is a little bit tricky, but basically, if you um, are responding to people's questions and um, turning your orders in on time, you'll get it pretty high. 99% um, of my orders have been completed. Uh, sometimes I um, cancel, we mutually cancel for different reasons. If it's a project that goes against my conscience, I'm not going to do it and I'll let people know right away. Um, delivered on time, 78%. It's pretty high. Um, things that could factor it, uh, for example, there may be some times I'm a minute late or there are times where I need something else from the buyer and they haven't responded and it throws things off so I'll put it But 78 is still pretty high. Of course I want it to be higher. So people see that I'm responding quickly and I have really good ratings so more people are naturally going to choose me over other people. It still is competitive but they're going to uh, I get chosen a lot because of how quickly I deliver. Now I also so I look at my analytics um, and I want to make sure that um, that I'm doing I'm doing well uh, when people take a look at me and they're seeing what it is that I have to offer. So I offer things that I know I'm good at, and I you know, obviously we start at a five dollar price, and there's add-ons. So if I since I write and I uh, I also uh, do voice. There's times where I do both of those projects. Um, I think my biggest secret is that I over deliver. So when I do a voice, I may do more than one take, and even though they're only paying for one project, I'll give them a couple samples so people are happy and they can choose from there. Uh, the other thing that um, is uh, really positive is um, is that I look to see what buyers are wanting. So let's go over to buyer requests. That's loading up now. So this person looking for a young female Indonesian over voiceover. I 
don't have either of those qualities, but going on down. Um, so, yeah, so I'm in need of someone doing a movie trailer type voice. I can absolutely do that. Um, I may place an order, I may uh, or place an offer rather. Um, my I'm really busy. I have 23 in my um, my queue right now, so I'm probably not going to place an offer on that. But if I did, I'd send an offer, tell them the price, and because people, when they put it here, they're often wanting something done really quickly, and when you can respond quickly, you you make people happy. So to sum up, I'd say figure out what you're good at, like doing things that are of interest, and make sure that you deliver it quickly and properly so that you um, deliver on time and people are happy with you and um, also just make sure that you keep your customers happy. If your customers are happy you get good ratings and you will have more and more people interested in you and the work keeps coming. It really is a great way to uh, make some extra money on a daily basis.